my name is Fabian Higgins. I am a rescue technician at Metro Rescue, which is a division of the Government Ambulance Service. We've been entered into the Centrum Guardian of the Year competition for the dive rescue that we did in October last year, where we rescued three women that was trapped in the upturn hull of the Moroshka tourist boat. The call came through at about 1430 and we get all our calls via our emergency consulting center called Metro Control, mm -hmm. which is based at uh, Tigerberg Hospital. So they received the call from the public or from wherever, whoever called them, and they then activated the, the rescue unit in Pinelands. Okay, the control said to us that there was a boat that capsized just off Hout Bay, and there were possibly people still trapped inside the hull. Once I actually went under the boat, I had to look for an entrance. I didn't know whether it was going to be a window, a door, or what. And luckily, I found the entrance door to the cabin itself. Now, bearing in mind, I was being tossed around by the, 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 the cabins that were under the boat. I was holding on for dear life so that I wouldn't get pushed out by the currents. And I had to pull myself into the cabin of the boat. Once I got into the cabin, it was darkness. You couldn't see much. So once I entered the cabin, I had to search the cabin amongst all the junk and debris that was in the cabin. There was ropes, there were packets, there were bags, there were cameras floating around, papers. It was a total mess. It was like a whirlwind had gone to you know, through the cabin. There's always a danger of a boat sinking. Um, you know, that was the only thing that, that goes through your mind with this type of rescue, that this was the first of this kind of a rescue that we've ever done in South Africa for us and for the uh, police dive units. So none of us knew what to expect. If the boat had sank, it was one of those things. Your main aim is to get to that people, and we weren't going to leave without getting that people out. I then found a little cupboard door. Uh, to what seemed to me as well. it was a cupboard door. I then opened the cupboard door and I tried to get in there. But the cupboard door was, was very small. It wasn't more than a half a meter wide. And I managed to, to get my head and my right arm into that. And I kind of looked up. And as I looked up, the boat pitched up as the waves was bashing against it. And momentarily there was a bit of light that came through. And then I saw two sets of legs that were actually in the water. And then I knew that this is where the people are and they're in an air pocket inside that house.